Hello, my babies, and welcome back. So we finished at the point where we had something showing, something being rendered, but it doesn't really look like the template that we downloaded. And the reason why it's not showing exactly what we were looking for is because we are not using the static files. They're here, but the you know the template doesn't know it. They're there. Probably if I copied those files from here to templates, it would work. But it's very bad way of storing your static files. You want them in a separate folder, um, and you want to uh, tap into those files from static folder uh, using using a static tag. And so we're going to start using some tags, uh, Django tags here, and they're not that scary. At the beginning, when I used when I started learning Django and uh, the, the the tutorial started using those tags, I was like, oh. I know HTML, but I don't know what those tags are. Ah, they're exactly the same. They're just saying, hey, do something. Like everything in programming. <laughs> Whatever you're doing is you're just telling the computer to do something. So anyway, so let's get those tags working. Um, so if you want to use static files, oh, what did I do? Oh, okay, sorry. So if you want to use your static files, you just do this load so whatever tags django tags you're you're um, importing you just say load and the name of the tag and in this case it's called static if it's django one point something or two point something it's i think it's called static files but from django 3 it's called static so just so you know and now whatever is looking for a local file needs to be replaced so this is fine because it's tapping into some API, some, not API, but from some uh, CDN, is it called? Some server that gives you those, um, this all JS file. Okay, so it's getting it from the outside, that's fine. Here are some fonts from Google APIs, that's fine. So this, fi this file here won't be found unless I use static files, a static tag. So I'm lazy, as I mentioned a couple of times, so I'm gonna just duplicate this with con command D and select this delete and put in a static tag and an empty string and I'll just copy this string from here okay so just to be safe I used uh, double quotes from the outside and single quotes from the inside just because you know sometimes I, I probably because it's inside of a tag if I did this it would still work because it knows it's inside of a tag but kind of just to be sure, I think I had a problem with this one, so I kind of just prefer to swap them when I have quote, quotes inside of quotes. Anyway, so I can delete that one with command X. So I just cut that out. And you know what? I'm gonna go through all that file and it's a long file, so I'm gonna just speed it up. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace every local uh, reference, which is all the, f uh, all the CSS files, all the JavaScript files and all the pictures and I'm going to replace them with um, with the static uh, equi equivalent. So I'll see you in a second, and um, when I'm finished, we are going to see what's going to happen. Okay, so that's done, I think. Uh, so as I said before, I changed all those um, local references into static tag and I just basically put that same local reference in here and as long as you saved your static files the same way as if um, you know this file was with basically if you save those files the same way as I did uh, it should work for you okay so just to recap load static the rest of HTML is pretty much the same except for changing the uh, um, the local references. Okay, so let's hope we are gonna see something different and we're not seeing anything different. We are seeing the same thing. And I think I know why. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you, yes, I did, yeah, I checked that before. Um, there was something, and by the way, Django project docs are amazing. They are very <laughs> lengthy. So it completely makes sense for you to check, you know, Stack Overflow and, and um, videos because there are people who checked stuff before you and they have some answers. So basically, like if if you're looking for something, Django docs are great, but they're very long. 
Uh, there is a lot of stuff that you can learn from here. Um, anyway, so let's get this fix. Yes, that was the thing that was missing from settings as far as I remember. Let's go to here and just delete this one. So static files, there's, and um, that goes into a list and then we use ba base there, static, okay? Let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, I hope that fixes the prop and there you go. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a, a very satisfying moment where you start doing something and you think like, oh, I'm not, you know, how long will it take to see something nice? And you see it after a couple of videos. I think it's a very nice feeling. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. Look at this. All the JavaScript that was there works. CSS obviously works as well. Um, it's very short. One thing about MacBook Pro 13 inch screen is that it's 13 inch, inch screen. screen. So it's small. I, I do feel it and maybe you did notice that when I'm working on my PyCharm, it's very small. Um, but anyway, this is me testing the new product. And anyway, so we are here, we have our bootstrap working um, so we can start making it more Django-ish, but I suppose that could be done in the next video. So thanks for watching and smell you later.